come along with me on a productive day getting my life together. Now, I'm a full-time uni student and content creator, and I love what I do. I post everything from fitness to mindset to food. But something I think we all struggle with is comparison. But I'm here to remind you that the less time you fixate on everybody else, the more time you have to work on yourself. I hope you guys enjoy the vlog. Please subscribe for more. Happy Monday, guys. Today is a what I eat in a day slash vlog and I want you guys to come around with me and just see how I live a healthy and happy lifestyle and find ways to be my healthiest self whilst being a final year uni student. So, got my coffee, fed the rabbits, and now it's time to get on with the rest of the day. I had a bit of a busy start before heading to the gym and having breakfast, but stay tuned because the recipes in this video are ones that you do not want to miss. They're realistic, healthy, and easy to do. So recently, I have been having my coffee first with oat milk, obviously, and then heading to the gym before having breakfast. And I feel like this is my new routine. So I just had my coffee. I've been editing a reel that's about to go up and a top tip for anyone who creates content too. Um, Canva have an amazing feature where you can type in Instagram reels and loads of templates come up and they look really, really cool. So I'd suggest testing that out if you are also someone who makes content. But yeah, gonna head to the gym today and then get everything done on my to-do list. So today's workout is obviously with tone and sculpt as always. And let me check what we are doing. So yesterday was a leg day. Okay, yesterday was quads and glutes. And today we are gonna go into a pool day. The plan I follow is with Chrissy, and there are so many trainers, so many people to choose from. Literally, she has built an amazing community of athletes, personal trainers, who can help anyone with any fitness goals. So, highly recommend you guys check them out too if you need a plan to follow. And I feel like the most important thing of starting a fitness journey is literally having a plan that you can rely on that you don't need to think about before going into the gym because if you go in the gym with a plan and a schedule for like the next few months you're going to smash it you're going to hit your goals and that's when you're going to see the most progress so yeah i'm going to finish editing this reel get ready and head to the gym another important part of my morning and an essential part is journaling i journal in the morning and i journal at night if i don't forget this journal is from Amazon. It literally takes five minutes to fill out and it does make a really big difference to your day. I then like to pick out my clothes for the gym and I like to make sure everything is clean before I go. I also prepared my BCAAs and my creatine, which is from EHP Labs and you can use code SAS10 for 10% off your order. I don't go to the gym because I have to. I go because I want to. I want to feel good. I want to be healthy. I want to be strong. And that's why I stay consistent. Believe me, I'm not motivated every single day to get there, but I never let myself down. Of course, I listen to my body and take rest days, but if I'm feeling lazy, it's not an excuse. I've got to get myself there and get the workout done. I promise you, you're only one workout away from a good mood. If you're starting your fitness journey, then what you need is a clear and consistent plan, which is why I love the Tone & Sculpt app, not sponsored by the way. You need structure and something to stick to. And I am so excited for this summer to finish my personal training course, the level three. I'm already level two qualified so I can actually get training people myself. Uni is extremely busy, but going to the gym makes me feel good mentally and physically. Moving on to breakfast, we are making English muffins with egg, turkey bacon, avocado, and halloumi. This breakfast literally takes five minutes to make and it's absolutely delicious, high in protein, and it's definitely going to fuel your body before or after a workout. I always make breakfast for me and my boyfriend because I am the one that cooks everything and I absolutely love it. And let's be real, breakfast is the best meal of the day. Finally back from the gym and I'm starving. My workout was so good. And now I'm having an English muffin with egg, turkey bacon, avocado, and halloumi cheese. And this is my go-to favorite breakfast for sure. Breakfast was good. Like we demolished everything. 
So if you need a new recipe to try, then this is the breakfast must have because easy to make, less than 10 minutes, tastes delicious, and it's gonna fill you up after a workout or before. There is a lot that I wanna get done today. So I'm gonna wash up, make a tea, and then get started. And I'm just gonna take you guys through the whole process of my day. So I hope you enjoy it. Let's stay positive. Let's always focus on the good in our lives. And you know, even if there's something that you don't wanna do, for example, my uni work, you still have to get it done. So use, you know, the stress and the fear of like not doing that thing to get it done if that makes sense. Also, I'm reading a really good book right now by Jay Shetty, uh, Think Like a Monk, and it is life-changing. 10 out of 10, would recommend. Not every day is as productive as this one, but I was definitely feeling proud of myself for moving my body, eating well, and getting everything I needed to do done. Being disciplined in the gym has really helped me be disciplined at uni, and I'm gonna be real with you guys. It hasn't been easy, and I've definitely been struggling with it, especially since I've not been enjoying it the most. But I graduate this year and I am so excited. If you're also studying, regular breaks is really important. I started reading this book by Jay Shetty called Think Like a Monk, and I can absolutely 10 out of 10 recommend it and I am only on chapter four. It's amazing and it will really teach you how to find yourself. Comment down below if you're reading it too or what book you recommend me to read next. Moving on, we're making a smoothie filled with banana, mango, oat, strawberry, honey, chia seeds, and spinach with some cashew milk. This is one of my favorite smoothies and because of the oats, it keeps you feeling full for so long. Time for a quick smoothie before lunch. I'm gonna do about an hour's more work. So I'm gonna drink the smoothie first. Filled with so much goodness. Writing a uni dissertation is so hard and it definitely requires a lot of time. I like to make sure I'm still moving around the house, whether that's to do washing, to do some yoga or go and grab some water. Because taking any kind of break away from my screen is so important. Another thing I love to do is follow about a 10 to 20 minute yoga session just to stretch out my body, especially since I worked out today and also to help myself find some calm. Because as I said, uni is stressful and I don't always deal with it in the best way. So doing yoga and taking time to breathe is really important. For today's lunch, we are having a tuna salad with sweet potato, pumpkin seeds and mayonnaise. Such a delicious combo and so easy to do. The lighting has gotten drastically darker now, huh? But I just took a shower because um, I didn't after I came back from the gym and now I have a few bits that I need to grab from Sainsbury's so I'm gonna change into my on a track suit and get going there with my boyfriend, grab a few things uh, grab a few things that we need, cook dinner, do a little bit more uni work just to push myself. But overall it was a super productive day and I'm feeling proud. So this tracksuit is actually not sold anymore. This is from the Honor Active, the first ever like classic lounge range, I believe the name is. And it's my favorite tracksuit from any brand, every brand. I literally adore it. And I have the new um, jumper from the new collection, but I don't have the bottoms to go with it. So I feel like I always just opt for this one. But yeah, literally obsessed with Honor Active. Please, please sponsor me one day because I love you so much. Okay, being real with you guys, I literally forgot to film my dinner because my camera was in my bag. So I'm terrible, but <laughs> I did take a really quick photo and video on my phone. So I'll insert that now. So I'm eating cereal on a cup because I don't know why I like eating. <laughs> I like eating cereal in a cup. Let me know if that's you as well. So after something savory, I always need something sweet. So I'm having a bit of cereal, but I had a Perry chicken burger for dinner. I will put the recipe in the description because it is one of my favorite high protein, healthy fake away recipes. And you guys have got to try it. Um, I actually prefer it to a beef burger. So 
so good i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and comment below and of course subscribe and check out my instagram and tiktok at fitness with Saz for daily updates from me so good night guys